5 Ways to Spot Inhalant Abuse in Teenagers When you think about the term inhalant abuse such as sniffing glue, turpentine, gasoline, etc., you usually start to picture the homeless or poor lost souls that are already lost of hope. Unfortunately, the truth is that it is far different than what many people picture, and far scarier. Around 17 million Americans have stated they have used inhalants at least once. The most common age of this experiment being childhood and early teens. What exactly is inhalant abuse? Kids partake in activities such as sniffing glue, or other volatile chemicals, like petrol. They experience an intense high. Like a feeling of intoxication like being drunk. While they may appear to be drunk on the outside, the intensity of the high from inhalant abuse is much higher and stronger, which puts kids at more of a risk for impaired judgment and accidents. What does inhalant abuse cause? Inhalant abuse can cause many major health issues such as heart failure. There have been some reports of kids dying from their first experiment with inhalants. Constant or chronic use of inhalants can lead to brain damage, and damage to virtually all of the organs in the human body, as well as an increase in cancers. Much of the damage caused is irreversible. The solvents used in inhalants are also very addictive, and kids trying glue sniffing put themselves at risk of dependency, and an increase of abuse with the associated health risks. Because younger aged kids have a tough time getting other types of drugs. Inhalants, being readily available at home or easily purchased in stores, are much easier for them to get hold of. Parents need to be aware of the signs of inhalant abuse and never ignore any of them, because the risks of this type of abuse are so extreme, it is important to get professional help immediately, if you suspect any signs of abuse. The 5 Warning Signs to Watch Out For 1. Inhalant items in the room or school bags such as old spray cans, or tubes of glue. Another sign is their bags smelling like glue or other solvents. 2. A chemical type smell on your child or in their clothes. Unless your kid is working late night hours. In a factory there shouldn't be a reason for their clothes to smell of chemicals. 3. Different stains on their faces that look unusual. Kids that abuse inhalants will spill some of the substances on their clothes, and may even have small traces on their face from inhaling, from bags. 4. Loss of appetite, those that abuse inhalants regularly will have negative effects on their hunger. It is unusual for the healthy, kids that are growing, to be lacking in the hunger department. 5. The appearance of intoxication. You should never ignore such an obvious sign of intoxication. Thinking that your kids are too young to be experimenting with any substances. If you suspect that your child is a victim of teenage drug abuse you may consider enlisting the services of a private detective. Private detective services can help find useful information and clues as to what exactly is happening in your child's life. About active investigations. Is a private investigation agency based in Melbourne, Victoria. Call 395-80-5492 for all private investigation services. From surveillance of teenage drug use to background checks.